My name is Mark Guerin. I'm the director of the Institute of Politics here at the Harvard Kennedy School. And I was very privileged to serve as director of the Peace Corps from 1995 to 1999. I'm Jody Olson, and I'm here at the IOP as a resident fellow for this semester. And I am talking this semester largely about international work and the opportunities that people have for international work. What does it look like after COVID? Well, Peace Corps Week is a great opportunity to celebrate uh, the day that President Kennedy signed the executive order, March 1st, creating the Peace Corps. His speech is the moment and the day that we then use for celebration of what has been 61 years of this extraordinary program. And we take the week, so it begins today uh, and it will go through this weekend of honoring Peace Corps, Peace Corps volunteers, countries, country staff, those who are affected by Peace Corps all over the world. The Peace Corps sends Americans of any age, but largely young Americans, around the world to countries that need and want our help. We work in partnership, in peace and friendship, uh, on their development needs to advance their own interests and their own development work that they're engaged on. And in so doing, Americans learn about another people and part of the world and traditions and cultures. Our host country partners learn more about the United States. But then importantly, the Peace Corps volunteer returns to the United States uh, to share that perspective with fellow Americans. And that is a great benefit to our own country. Up to this point, 250,000 Americans, mostly young Americans, have served in upwards of 142 different countries. You stay for two years, you are in the community, you live with host families, you learn the local language, you eat the local food, you live as a community member. You are also providing some type of a technical support. And maybe you're a teacher, you work in agriculture, you work with a health clinic, you work in the environment, you work with youth. But what's critical is that working in this community for those two years, you're working in the cultural environment for change that that community chooses for it to be. But given the global economy, given our own increasingly multicultural society, to have Americans who've lived and worked around the world, understanding the complexities of our planet and coming back and sharing that perspective as they did important and good development work, partnering with host country nationals. It's arguably more important now than it's ever been in the history of the Peace Corps. We need Americans who are outwardly looking, outwardly facing, thinking about others uh, across the planet that need our help that want our help. And so in service and peace and friendship, I think the Peace Corps is really an idea that was, as I said, always been important, but in today's environment could not be more important. Just yesterday, I was talking to the Peace Corps country director in South Africa. And they're at the point when they're just a few months away from when the first volunteers will be able to return after a two year absence because of COVID. And James Ham, who's the country director, said to me, oh, the communities are waiting for volunteers to come back. They're waiting to see and feel that connection that they had known for 25, 30 years. That is why Peace Corps remains so important today. It's at the people to people level. It's at the community to community that we need those conversations that build relationships, that strengthen the relationships, that say to us, family, community, person by person, we are one humanity, and we need to share and understand each other, our similarities and our differences in that one humanity. And it happens with programs like the Peace Corps because we integrate and become part of what that humanity looks like.